Wow, that leaf is quiet, Nathan. Welcome to Boulder, Colorado. Thank you, my man. So, Long drive. How many miles did it take you to get here, and how many miles do you have left on the range o meter there? Uh, it took me 45.8 miles to get here, and I've got 39 left. Oh my, that means you don't have enough miles to get back home. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm gonna have to find a recharging station or something like that. So is there such thing as range anxiety? Is a Leaf a usable car as an everyday commuter? Can you live with a thing? Nathan, you must know, you've got no way of getting home. <laughs> That's right, I traveled all the way up here and I don't have enough juice to get back. Welcome to a day in the life of the Nissan Leaf where we figure we would, well, spend the day with the Leaf doing the things that most people would do. Going to work, it's coming here to Boulder, running errands, and then for Nathan going back home, which right now doesn't seem possible unless... Unless we find a place to charge it up quickly. So come with us as we spend a day in the life of the Nissan Leaf. Alright, the first errand on a day in the life of Leaf is an easy one. I have to pay my bills. So, bills paid. Let's go on. Oh my, 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 Nathan, the displaced is 37 miles and you're 40 some from home? Yeah, almost 46 miles. Well, the good news is we've done the easy bit, the mail, and now we get to go grocery shopping. Hey, Ashley. Hi. You work here at Alfalfa. I Boulder, do. And you are so kind to provide us with a free quick charge. We are, yeah. Why do you do that? Um, well, we believe in the electric cars and saving, you know, being sustainable to the planet. So we put in our own car chargers. And how does it work? If people come in here, they have to come to the front desk? And yeah, they just come to guest services and we bring out a car to unlock it and plug it right into their car. All right, let's see you do it. Have you done this before? I have. All right. Hopefully I get it right. All right. <laughs> I've never done this part. All right. You want me to do it for you? Or yeah. <laughs> see, it's, it's pretty easy. It's just like a regular household plug. Nice. Ta -da. So Sorry. yeah, and then when you're done, you just unplug it and stick it back in and it sends us an email that you have uncharged and that you left. Is there a time limit or how long? No, no? you can be here as long as you want. You know, the funny thing about Boulder is that we have organic everything here. And we have our own water, El Dorado. So you ever had that, that's from here. And you've probably heard of this, Izzy, which is also a native Boulder product, which of course is available here at Alfalfa's. Welcome to Organic Shopping Heaven. So here's the issue. It takes between 12 and 14 hours to recharge the leaf on a regular household current. And the quick charger, it's supposed to take about half that amount of time, which means that we need to do something before we can get going because this car is not going to get recharged in just the 15 minutes that I was shopping. Nathan, food? Food. Food. All right, here we go. Nathan, we've got some charge. Question, of course, is how much? We will see. We will see. Mmm, good lunch, Nathan, huh? Yeah, there's good food here. All right, well, let's see how much free electricity you got in about here, an hour. Here we go. And it's thinking. Still thinking? 47 miles. Oh my, that could get you home. Luckily. Mm, barely. Barely. Luckily, we have some more errands to run. Let's do it. Let's run some errands, but uh, wait a minute. <laughs> what about the power? Um, yeah, good point. You know what? I need to go work out. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a charging station at the local rec center. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. So how about if I work out and what are you going to do? I'll do my own version of working out. All right, now since I am, of course, a really good athlete, no, I'm not. I am here to do a little working out, and at the same time, we can charge the leaf. So I have one dollar, you said it is? One dollar for the hour. One dollar for the hour, there you go, sir. That's the yeah. deal. I bet you I can get, uh, what, 20 miles of charge on that in an hour? At least. What a bargain. And you give me this? That's the key to turn it on. Okay. You're all set over there. Turn it on. Let's yep. go do it. Thanks. You're welcome. I have the charger, I have the leaf, we're gonna plug her in. Simple, easy peasy. Here's the tricky part. What do we do now? 
I suspect you hit this button. No, you put the key up against this button. <laughs> no, you put the key up here maybe. Aha, something happened. Ooh, that was easy, it's charging. There we go. So maybe Nathan will be able to get home tonight. That's the thing about electric cars. While they're more expensive, they're relatively inexpensive to charge up in Boulder. It's probably a dollar or two here. It's a dollar to charge this thing fully. Let's just hope we can get enough juice in it to have a full day in the life of an Nissan Leaf. All right, Nathan needs about, oh, at least an hour to get home. So I'm gonna do a quick start and set this treadmill on, oh, let's be conservative. Let's put it on 15 miles. No, I'm just kidding, not 15 miles. I'm gonna put it on six, because that's what I run at. And I am gonna have my workout while Nathan does whatever Nathan does. The leaf really lends itself to a healthy lifestyle. You end up having a lot of downtime waiting for the thing to recharge. And so you can do things like, you know, going for a swim. I wonder what Nathan's doing with his time. Oh. Hey, dude, I'm uh, feeling good. What'd you do? Oh, I, I exercised too. You did? Mm -hmm. All right. Outdoors. Well, the car's been charging. It looks like you've got almost uh, two lights. Yeah. How far are you from home? Ooh, just about 46 miles. Don't worry, dude. I've got you covered here. I'm gonna use Siri to find the electric car charging stations. Here we go. Electric car recharging stations nearby, just in case you don't make it. I found eight auto dealers. Four of them are in Potomac, Maryland. Maryland. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. <laughs> You'll get home for sure. Eight auto dealers in Potomac, Maryland. Have a good ride, man. Jeez. Good luck. You know, I don't know if Nathan will make it back home, but I have to tell you, sometimes old technology, like in this Range Rover, is the best technology. Good luck, Nathan. Bye. Right. Says I've got just over 50 miles. It's going to be tight. I'd have been much happier with 60. All right. No range anxiety. I'm gonna trust the instruments and I'm gonna make it home. I think we have one more hill after this and then we're good. Wow, man, I am, I'm a little nervous, okay? Wait. Low battery charge, press button to check. Oh, boy. What, press which button? Maybe this one. It says battery level low, and now we're down to seven miles and it's flashing. And I've got five miles to go. <laughs> I'm worried. Yes, yes, yes. Green. Lots of brake. Lots of brake. A little bit of regenerative love. Oh, are you kidding me? Like that, I'm at it. Got a chase Look at It's the stopping that's scaring me. <laughs> Accelerating um, may not happen. If that's the case, things are going to be really bad. This is three more miles. If we can get it into my, my neighborhood um, and off the main road, I'd be happy. I'm not celebrating yet because fate has put me behind the slowest driver in Colorado. But with only two blocks left, three blocks left to my house, 
and it flashes. Low battery charge. Search for nearest charging station. <laughs> Holy crap! We're good. We're good. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Oh, it's not showing any battery. <laughs> Look. <laughs> it's. I think that's absolute zero. So at this point, I have to rely on solar radiation, wind at my back, and the fact that the rest of this is all downhill, thank God. Now I know you guys think that Roman and I made this up or that we staged some of this or something. I swear to God, this is exactly what you see. And we literally are completely out of juice right in front of my abode. Thank God. I know you don't believe me. Fine, don't. I practically wet myself getting here. I gotta be honest with you, I didn't think it was going to make it. Total mileage, round trip, including that little jaunt we did around uh, to Roman's place and all that, 110 miles. Drink, my friend, drink, enjoy. I am so sorry I ran you completely out of juice. I swear to God I didn't want to do that. What I wanted to do and what Roman wanted to do was to prove that a car like this could be used every day. But my commute is longer than your average American. I mean, I'm commuting nearly 50 miles each way to Romans. Under normal circumstances, a car like this, 10, 20 miles each direction, no problem. <sighs> For the fast lane car, I'm Nathan. See you next time. Welcome to the brand new 2012 Nissan LEAF. This one's more expensive than the old one. The reason why is because they added a price base which is between $24 and $3,500 depending on which model you get. This particular one is about $32 and you get $7,500 back from the federal government. So it's around $27 give or take and that's not so bad. The interesting thing with this car is heated steering wheel, heated front seats and heated rear seats with a really, really funky place to put the switch. I don't quite understand it, but then again, this is a car that's beyond my limited capacity for memory and intelligence. So we're, we're getting a little low on electricity, and when you do, you hit uh, nearby power stations, or charge-up stations, actually, and apparently... Um, it does not exist in this location. <laughs> okay, so that's okay. We're, we're gonna scroll to nearby ones. I, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> normally would show something here but there's nothing in the immediate area maybe if we can um data does not exist for this location apparently boulder colorado is not on the map oh you are having a bad day Nathan. i'm having a really bad day and for those of you who are familiar with well your safe ways we of course do not believe in packaging so we have a whole world of unpackaged goods that you package yourself this is boulder and this is very very green Okay, uh, just so you know, there's a little tiny pine tree uh, next to the speedometer and it indicates green driving. Mine has been completely chopped down. It looks like the Brazilian rainforest. It's kind of pathetic. Man.